Hey everybody, welcome back. So, uh, last time we walked into an underground waterway, we're trying to get a sand pearl for Rosa, and came across the sage Tella, who is trying to reach the city of Damkin along with us, uh, because he's looking for his daughter. So, we're joining together, and apparently there's a monster ahead that we need to take care of. Not exactly the most pleasing concept to hear, but, alright. So that is where that is the story thus far in Final Fantasy IV for PSP. As it looks like a snazzy new remake, it is. Um, and we actually got a ways to go, so uh, like I said in the previous video, I'm going to try and cover this as much as I can, but things are going to get a little... Uh, the story's a little bit more active than in the last couple of games, so I might not be able to hit it every time. Uh, so, I was talking about how I was playing a bunch of shoot 'em ups on PS4, uh, and, like I said, Resogun is absolutely awesome. I play that thing casually and enjoy the living heck out of it. Um, it's actually kind of funny. Most of the games I have for PS4 right now are indie titles, uh, that carried over from the PS3. But, there are some that I haven't been able to play. Uh, the other one is Geometry Wars 3rd Dimension. Um, now the interesting part of that is... I have not played the other uh, Geometry Wars games. I came into indie gaming a little bit late. Like, the, to give it a kind of an example, my first one, my first indie game to play was Super Meat Boy. This leads outside. The monster lies in the cave beyond. Use a tent outside if you must. And possibly save. Uh, yeah, so... I played Super Meat Boy, I think a couple of months after it released. That was my first indie title, so there were plenty of others that had come out at that point, and I was late to the bandwagon, I'll, I'll admit that. But uh, Geometry Wars 3rd Dimension I'm enjoying, but it's really hard for me to focus, because, it, it, you know, I, I hate to bring up the subtitle, but it does require some three-dimensional thinking. Uh, the only... Th the one thing I will say, though, is that it reminds me of, like, old-school games like Tempest. So it's fun in that regard. Uh, and, oh man, the, the graphics of the PS4 are just amazing with these games. He's down there! Down where? Oh, great. We're falling down the waterfall. Thanks, Tella. We appreciate that. What the crap, man. So, a more addition to the cave. The biggest title, however, for PS4 that I've been playing... Uh, was Knack for PS4. It's one of the few physical games I have right now. And I gotta say, I don't understand why people gave it such a bad rap. Um, it's a fun game. It looks like it's next-gen, it feels like it is, and its story is cute enough that I've not had any problems with it. But I remember when that game first came out, how everybody was like, Oh, this doesn't look like a PS4 game. Looks more like PS3. I'll admit, it could probably fit on either, but it's a unique story and a new IP. I don't get the problem here. Uh, I've, I've been enjoying it. I haven't played that far, but it's been fun. Oh, look, tentacle. And I skipped Tella's line. Awesome. Watch out! We're apparently going to have some hentai react. No, no. Don't even go there, guys. Little girl in our party. Don't even go there. So this is Octomammoth. And as you can see, he has many, many tentacles. But that's okay. I have many, many spells. Now, we're not going to use Darkness because it just would be kind of pointless. He is just one target, even though there's many different tentacles. And of course, the first summon is Chocobo. Well, that makes sense. Yet another meme carrying over. And as you can see, as we do more damage to him, we start cutting off his tentacles. I wish this would have been utilized more, but it wasn't. Where we're actually, like, cutting off limbs. And I, it doesn't need to be bloody, it's just like, oh, I guess I cut off another limb because he just changed again. And I believe this character actually inspired a later character in the Final Fantasy series... But I need to confirm that before I actually say it. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and say it. And if people say I'm wrong, that's fine. Uh, I believe this character was an inspiration 
to some extent for the character Ultros, uh, who came in Final Fantasy VI and later into 13-2 as a boss encounter. So I'm not sure on that, but Ultros is a fun character, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was at least in some part inspired by Octomammoth. Not the fight itself, but the fact that it's like a, a squid boss. Three more tentacles. So, And here's the thing, too. The more limbs we cut off, the harder this guy hits, the harder he gets. So we're actually making this more difficult, even though he's hitting the same amount of times. Excellent! He's weakening! This is another new addition to Final Fantasy IV, Mid-Battle Text. I thought this was awesome because it just expands the story even more. You know, th now you can kind of visualize that they are communicating while fighting this beast. All right, and that's it! Octomammoth is down! And Ridia learned poison. Come now, Damkian is beyond this waterfall! Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and head to the castle of Damkin so we can get our sand pearl and Tella can do whatever the heck he wants to do there. Uh, look, there's the castle and... Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Ah! Crap! Oh, man. This was actually pretty dark when, as a kid, I first played this. I'm like, can you even get here in time? And I tried, but you can't. It's part of the story. And oh, is that... It is Anna! You. You're that Bart! Anna ran away because of your trickery! And here comes the mistranslation that is awesome. You spoony bot! No, wait! Die! Please, listen! Shut up! Forgive me, please! Take this! Father, stop! It was a pretty heavy moment. Oh, Anna, I'm so glad to see you again. Father, be nice. Edwardus, Prince of Damkin. Forgive me for the way I ran away. But I love him. But I couldn't find happiness without your consent. I was on my way home when... We were attacked, sir, by Baron's Red Wings. They were led by Golbez. I've never heard of this Golbez before. Who is he? I don't know. All I know is that his powers were beyond words. But why did they attack Damkian? They wanted the crystal, and they spared no one to get it. And yet another crystal has been taken. My mother, my father... Even Anna shielded me from their arrows. You love him enough to give up your own life? Father, forgive me. Edward, I'll always love you. Anna! 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 This game got dark and heavy real quick. Damn you, Golbez! What matter of monster are you? Bard, what do you know about him? He came to Baron one day and became the new leader of the Wet Wings. Of the Wet Wings. Apparently he's Barbara Walters. He... He leads them in their mission to plunder the crystals. 
Stop your simpering! That won't bring Anna back! Go, Bez of Baron. I shall take his life with my own two hands! Tello, wait. You can't possibly go alone. Smack. I will kill Golbez on my own. I don't need your help. I don't need anyone's help! Tello has left the party in a huff. Alright. So this got dark and heavy really quick. I'm not, I'm not gonna stop saying it. And, uh... Stop crying! Smack, man. You are grown up! You're not supposed to cry! I lost my mom! But I'm not gonna cry anymore. Rydia. I don't care. Leave me alone. I must brood. I'm staying here with Anna. I will never leave her side. Nice! That's enough. You're the right ru rightful ruler of Damkian, so start acting like it. You owe it to your people, and you owe it to Anna. Your Highness, my name is Cecil, and I need your help. What? What, what, what? My friend is suffering from desert fever in Kaipo. I need to get the Sand Pearl to save her. Can you help me? What is her name? Rosa. She is very dear to you, isn't she? Like Anna was to me. You can find the Sand Pearl in the Ant Lion's Den, which lies to the east. The gem forms from the fluid that the ant lion secretes when it lays its eggs. Ew! We must cross the shallows by hovercraft to reach the cave. After we acquire the sand pearl, we can cross the shallows to reach Kaipo. Let us be on our way. Prince Edward has joined the party. Technically, that's not his class. He's a bard. In fact, he is a very spoony bard. Oh. Goodbye, Anna. And in true Final Fantasy fashion, she fades away. So, yeah, pretty heavy moment. Um, we lost Tella because Anna is dead. And now he has vowed revenge. I'll admit, when I first played this as a kid, that was a pretty heavy moment. And and I think, like I said before, I tried to stop this thing. I thought maybe, okay, if I got through the, the underwater cave fast enough, then I could stop it. And I tried a couple of times. Nope. That's how it's supposed to happen. So it's just like, kind of creepy as a kid. I mean, what the crap, man? But it's good storytelling. So uh, now that we have Prince Edward's help, he knows how to get the uh, sand ruby or sand pearl. Sorry, I'm used to the Super Nintendo version where it's a sand ruby. And I'm sorry, but the, the translation in this game, I, I really wish. Ugh. I did not need to know where the sand pearl comes from. That's probably going to be the episode title here. We do not need to know where the sand pearl comes from. Oh, man. So while we are searching Damkian Castle, because we're going to try and take some of the loot from it, since nobody obviously needs it. <laughs> yeah, we're plundering after the plunderers came in. Um, so another game that I was actually... Well, let me get back into Knack a little bit. I, I like how that game turned out. Uh, I love the fact that it's a new IP for the PS4. I want to see a sequel. I, I don't care what the review said. I can't see who goes there. He's just dying. Poor guy. It's not a happy day for him. 
Um, I want to see an act two. And thankfully the creator has said that he would do knack two. <laughs> That's weird to say knack two. Um, but it's going to be a while and I'm fine with that. Um, maybe at that point knack can kind of warm up to people. But I think it's a it's a good starting new IP for the PS4. It has flaws. I'm not going to deny that. But it's a good try. So at that point, I really do want to see another in the NAC series to see if they improve. If they don't improve, then, then the accusations are just. But right now, for a first shot, it's not bad. So I did, I did want to point that out. And I have been playing a lot of uh, PS4, I'm not going to lie. But mostly the, the shoot-em-ups. Um, another game that I've been playing recently has been Dark Souls. I have defeated two demons at this point, and I can see why a lot of people consider it very difficult, as well as a more 3D rendition of a Diablo-type game. And you know what? It, it plays really well in that regard. I, I'll, I'll give it that. It's kind of worth it, at least to me. And this is actually a point where I did do some grinding because Edward is kind of weak. Thankfully, we don't have to keep him for that long. But Edward is kind of a weak character. Mainly because he's a bard. So now we're going through the desert cave now that we've worked on Edward and Rydia and, and Cecil a little bit. Um, but back to Dark Souls, so I'm enjoying that title, but I can see why a lot of people have the difficulty issues with it. And I'm not going to fault it, though, because it's telling a story way better than Demon Souls did. So I'm liking that, but I'm not that far in. I've, like I said, I've tackled two demons. I know I've got a ways to go. I know I do, and I, I have not looked up a strategy guide. But it's, it's been worth it to, to go through those. I love what they've done with the boss fights thus far. They've been really interesting. The only problem that I've had with Dark Souls is that it makes me want to go play Diablo. <laughs> so it's like afterwards I have to go play Diablo because I just have the urge at that point. Uh, but I am enjoying it thus far. Uh, another game that I've been able to get into is a little bit more is Dragon Age Origins. And I've gotten to a point where I, I was able to get the Sacred Chalice that I was looking for. I was able to get out of that Mage Tower finally. Um, and I was actually able to do my first technical boss fight where I got to take down a dragon. It was a pretty epic moment in the game. I, I must admit the Dragon Age series does not disappoint. It is a Bioware game through and through. Because I actually... Oh man, I had such trouble on that fight. Just because I had to... At that point, I had not like reworked uh, the AI of my party. And I had not done that. And even then, I had to... like I didn't want to step off my character. But I kind of had to because my healer was AI. And not spending her mana very well. So I actually had to switch over to her just to heal the party while they took down the dragon. Totally epic. Took a couple of reses, but it was worth it. Oh, it was awesome. Um, so, holy crap. Yeah, this is a pretty freaking good game. I'm looking forward to the story as it, as it progresses, but, you know, I just barely finished this quest to go uh, save the Arl, so... We'll see where that goes from there, but I'm excited. Uh, but sadly, that's that's all that I've been able to do for Dragon Age. Uh, the biggest amount of time that I've actually spent with a game has been with Bioshock Infinite. So I beat the main story. We, we've got quite a bit to talk about this. And in fact, we might carry this over to another episode. I beat the main story and it blew my mind. It was an ending I didn't see coming. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for people because you know what? I I believe and I wholeheartedly state. If you have not played Bioshock Infinite, you need to play it. It is awesome. And we're actually near the end of the dungeon, so I'm going to cut it out there. This is where the antlion lays its eggs. Oh, you, know, you had to bring that up again. Dang it, Edward. I'm not going to scream. <laughs> it's okay. Antlions are quite tame. 
They don't attack people. That looks like an attack, dude. Here, I'll demonstrate by taking the sand pro. Like so. And curse smack. Ah! Come on, we have to help him. So, next boss fight is with the ant lion. And man, this sprite looks kind of creepy. I will admit, it's a creepier version of the, the original sprite. And, they kind of got it right. So while we're working on this, um, back into Infinite, the main story just blew my mind. Absolutely awesome. Um, it really makes me sad that Irrational Games uh, is disbanded. Because I would want another Bioshock game. <laughs> I really would. This, this this sold me on the series. 1 and 2 didn't. Well, 1 didn't do that much. 2 definitely didn't. Infinite has sold me. In fact, I just want a Bioshock Infinite 2. That, that's it. Don't go back to the original stuff. But now, I also need to talk about the fact that I have completed... I got so enveloped in this game, I'm actually still trying to beat it. Uh, I beat Burial at Sea Episode 1, which is the Rapture DLC. And it blew my mind again. I, I just don't know how to explain it. It actually one-upped Bioshock as far as I'm concerned. Because Rapture is way more haunting in this game than it was in the original. And that's saying a lot. The Splicers are way more intimidating than they were in Bioshock. And I just can't I can't help but hand down praises, man. It this Infinite did a lot of things right in the series. It even brought back infinite elements and just renamed them into the Bioshock elements. Quick break, well we got dialogue. Obtain the Sand Pearl. Awesome. How could this happen? They've always been harmless creatures. Monsters are rapidly multiplying these days, and the behavior is changing as well. I can't help but feel this is some kind of sign. Come on, let's go cure Rosa! Right. Let's go. Okay, so we got the dialogue taken care of. Unfortunately, we can't do a... Oh, actually, we can. Emergency exit. I came across an item. Awesome. If we had Tello, we would have had Teleport. Alright, so back to Kaipo now that we have the Sand Pearl. We also have Edward, unfortunately, still. But that's alright. We're gonna go ahead and rest here. But yeah, I, I can't help but sing the praises of Bioshock Infinite. It it did a lot of things right. Burial at Sea, as far as I'm concerned, for a DLC pack, it one-upped the original game. And that's that's saying a lot, because I like I liked the first game and the story I tried to tell. Uh, right now, I'm in the middle of, of Burial at Sea Episode 2. So I don't want to say too much, but I do like the fact that we have switched perspectives. Instead of being Booker DeWitt, we are Elizabeth. I'm going to kind of keep it quiet there because, again, I don't want to spoil this stuff. I really do want people to play this game. It is awesome. It will blow your mind. Every every time I expected this game to become generic, it surprised me. So that that's wholeheartedly recommend this game to anybody uh, who hasn't played it. But now let's go ahead and heal Rosa because we have her the sand pearl we need. Rosa! Cecil. Wait, you're asleep. Rosa ex is exposed to the light of the sand pearl. Oh. Cecil. You're alive. Thank goodness. How do you feel? I'm fine, but I thought I'd lost you. They told me you died and missed when the earthquake hit. I'm sorry to have put you through that. Rosa, who is Golbez? 
He is the new captain of the Red Wings, appointed by the king himself. But the king has been acting strangely. I believe Golbez is manipulating him to collect crystals for himself. With Mesidia's water crystal in hand, he'll surely go after the others. Okay, so now we possibly have a reason for the for the king's acting up. The fire crystal of Damkian, the wind crystal of Fabul, and the earth crystal of Taroya. The fire crystal has already fallen into his hands. Oh, let me introduce you. Edward is the prince of Damkian. Rydia is a summoner from Mist. I wouldn't have been able to get the Sand Pearl and cure your fever without their help. Hi there! Hello, Rydia. Thank you both so much. Cecil, Fabul must be their next target. After Damkian, we must... <coughs> you have to rest now. Don't worry. We'll go to Fabul. We will go to Fabul. Because I can't talk. But to reach Fabubu, we must traverse Mount Hobbs, and the trail is blocked by thick ice. As in Calvin and Hobbs? Rydia, can you cast fire? Fire is not a good subject with Rydia right now. No, I can't. Fire is the most elementary of black magic spells. As a summoner, you... Rosa, stop. You're not coming with us in that condition. I'll be alright, really. And you'll need a white mage. I promise I won't be a burden. Rosa only wishes to be with you, Cecil. Alright, we'll go together. Make sure you get plenty of rest tonight. Cecil, thank you. White Mage Rosa has joined the party, so yay, we have four people, and we have a healer, finally. And that's actually going to go ahead and do it for this week, so next week, we start heading over to Fabul. Till next week.